Hey guys. Okay, so um, I am Denise. Okay, this is my channel, The Visionary, and I am. I got a couple of questions, and I know that there's more people that are wondering these, wondering, wondering these same things, and other people have asked me these questions too. And so I decided to just do a video response, so then that way you guys can get uh, to know me a little bit better and about. Um, my journey and um, how I manifested my my full abilities and um, about that so the questions that I'm gonna respond to in this video are how long did it take me to start manifesting my full abilities um, did they come all at once or one at a time and then um, when did I commit to like manifest full devotion and um, how did I start channeling? Okay, so okay, so how long did it take for me to manifest my full abilities? Um, I'm still manifesting my full abilities. Okay, so and and it's not even it's not even like manifesting your full abilities. It is activating to your uh, original blueprint, activating to your soul, and that's the soul alignment. When you fully merge, okay, with your soul, then all of your, uh, everything is available to you. Everything is available to you. But because you have a lot of veils on your third eye, there's blockages, emotional, mental blockages that have to not only clear from the mental and the um, emotional body, but the celestial bodies, all your 10 bodies has to, has to clear and the layers within those, um, your 12 layers also have to clear as well. And that's what alignment is. That's what harmony is. So oftentimes you may feel a very intense um, moment of like, bliss of, of just harmonic resonance. And that is the moment when everything is is open. You're completely open. There's no resistance. You're in full truth, full acceptance. And if you start to um, have those moments practice so those moments can last longer, you know, then you're able to not only strengthen your connection, but also have those abilities uh, available to you when you're not in like, say, the samadhi um, or transcendental state, okay? You're able to just be in a waking moment, but that is also because you have come into this energy of acceptance and trust, and you've integrated more with your, uh, with your soul, your higher self. You've blended with spirit, and so... Um, yeah so with that i think that's probably like the 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 number one thing of understanding when you're going to fully open to your abilities is when you fully accept yourself and you accept others as well then you will your third eye will clear and you will remember who you are so it really is not manifesting your abilities it's really um, remembering who you are and clearing the path clearing the body clearing the physical body clearing the attachments to the past is when you come into more of a remembrance and you're it's like your light just comes on you know and that's also a lot of times when you um, you you something comes into you that you feel like you've mastered you know it already okay and that's because you have you've just you, basically you've just activated that download so it's already there but you've activated that download so um for me i've always been very clear audience and i could always see um auras and, and angels my third eye has always been very open and since i was a since I was a child and I could communicate with um, the other realms and, and things like that since I was a child. And with that, some of my abilities, I ended up closing off um, just because um, I was, 
I just come out and say it. I was like, I was threatened that I would be taken away from my mother if I continued to say that I could, you know, I saw spirits, I saw, you know, um, you know, grandma or whoever, or I were somebody was in the room talking to me and these kinds of things. And so fear um, got seeded into me and I didn't want to be away from my mother. And I, I shut off a lot of my, my third eye. So I wasn't receiving, um, it was like now it's like locked into the matrix okay and um but the one thing that never closed to me was my clear audience and it always came through when my heart was like super open and um i would just hear what somebody needed to know needed to say um what i needed to say a response or what have you and i just got so used to having that guidance there that i just thought it was just an inner me I didn't I didn't know anything you know spirituality I grew up Baptist and that kind of thing so I didn't really it wasn't until 2017 that I actually acknowledged that it was God speaking through me you know when I was painting I've always done automatic writing I've always written poems and things like that um, I've always drew and, and stuff like this um, but it wasn't until I had very major traumas in my life did I devote myself to myself. And then when that happened, my abilities popped open because I decided that I was going to become the epitome of self-love. And I was going to love the hell out of me. And I was no longer going to let anyone step over me or to use me or manipulate me. I was no longer going to be the victim. I was going to... Uh, get my life back my health back my mind back my heart back my confidence back and when I decided to do that things opened up for me um I was suffering with addiction uh, to prescription drugs and things like this and um, I also was suffering from uh, chronic pain and depression at the same time and so things came people came into my life to help me overcome that um, I learned how to meditate and I like I stopped I never like I stopped going to church I stopped dealing with the church community but my um, I never stopped praying and I never stopped believing that, you know, angels were with me or God was with me some way, somehow. I always believed that um, at that time that God always came to me through someone, you know. So I've always been open to um, community and relationship with, with people that, that come to me because I always see everyone as an angel of something and there to support and help me um, and answer to my prayer type of energy but I had to come to a point to where I was going to be the answer to my prayer. I had to come to the point to where I was going to acknowledge who I was, my strength, my power, my love, my compassion, and I was going to build a foundation on that for myself. So when I learned to meditate, I learned other exercises to where I could uh, reduce the depression and the pain without medication. I learned about holistic stuff, and as I was going through that journey, uh, my, my writing got deeper. Uh, I, I could I, I could hear more was coming through and at that time I still didn't um, completely understand what what it was like I felt calm I felt the presence with me but I still didn't um, kind of put it together you know and also understanding like I would pray I would write down stuff I was doing I am affirmations like I didn't even know what I am was when I was doing I am affirmations and I've always done them my whole life but I got really into it and I started doing um, I am love I am healthy I am perfect health I am healed I started doing those kinds of things and more stuff came to me more opportunities came to me to um, embody that frequency that vibration and at the time 2017 when I was doing all that I didn't realize that 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 that's what I was doing. I didn't realize I was raising my frequency by self-care, self-love, and um, by taking my power back from fear, taking my power back from victim mentality, taking my power back from poverty, you know, taking my power back from disease and all of this kind of thing. And then, I'm sorry, I have this written here, but it also helps to uh, keep me focused. So that's why I keep looking down. And so, um, I went on a Bali retreat, a retreat to Bali where I didn't know anyone. I was watching a YouTuber 
who is now like um, one of my like my mentor Matt Kama and I I went on this trip and it was almost impossible for me but you know the universe made a way for me to pay for this trip um, and also for me to physically get there because I was dealing with severe nerve pain um, at the time coming from my neck and also from my sciatica and it was coming up from my feet so it was very severe and um, I made I devoted to myself then that I was going to get on this plane it was like a 72 hour trip all right from New York to Indonesia and um, I devoted to myself that I was going to reduce my pain so that way I was not going to be like having to take this trip in pain like I refused to get on that plane and um, and and suffer you know through it so I ended up at that time I was like 260 pounds I ended up losing about 30 pounds before the trip came in in November I made that decision in uh, September and I lost 30 pounds by the time I went on the trip and um, in doing that I didn't realize that I, I know it now that was detoxifying right so when um, manifesting all of my uh, like my abilities um no they don't come all at once right so this is the other thing that happened um my clear cognizance got very it got very clear and i would i would speak into existence what i needed what i was struggling with and i would speak it as a prayer or i would speak it as an affirmation you know um because i i did realize that what i was speaking was coming true you know i was becoming perfect help and um was it overnight no so did i clear my crown chakra and one uh, you know swoop no you know there's there's layers of activation that happen if you could see yourself as an atlas as a map and all those different points on that atlas as your as your light body and you may have like a hundred different cities over here in this side of your brain and through your your work um your your however you're detox it's detoxification all the way whether you're detoxing your mind your your spirit your um your heart your emotions or your physical body it's detoxifying and the more i stuck to my plan of detoxifying the more i activated different portions of my atlas of my light body and then um synchronicities and signs got stronger um i memories that i had blocked off started to come back to me not only in waking moment when i was walking in nature but also um you know my dreams got more vivid and um then i then i started getting like the downloads okay and um the downloads for me it was um it was very intense and i would get I would get like whole plans of what to do so like um, my guides told me how I was supposed to do my uh, I did keto intermittent fasting and um, I combined that with long walking and with hill sprints and um, it didn't all start at one time I first was doing like uh, you know a two shake like holistic like just berries I didn't realize that that was like um like also like a lot of Vedic stuff coming in uh, your Vedic that I basically was going to but didn't know it so I turmeric and ginger like spices and this kind of thing came into me I didn't realize that by um, having ginger and turmeric and all of my meals and also taking a shot with apple cider vinegar was decalcifying my pineal gland and um, so the, I stuck to that you know every single day almost for like two years but we stuck to that and um, um, and other things you know I reduced my meat uh, the retreat was a vegan uh, retreat but I wasn't it wasn't a big deal for me because I was only at that time eating like um, a chicken breast at, at once a day at night time and that was again because I was doing a combination of intermittent fasting with the keto so um, I got a lot of my protein from a uh, others like plant sources but then I would use that as the protein thing right and so I didn't know what was happening I didn't didn't put it together I didn't realize that this was like a huge massive spiritual awakening that was preparing me for um, an, an activation right and activations 
understand activations is not something that we're, oh, we're going to bless you with this. We're going to give you this skill. We're going to give this the ability. No, an uh, activation is activating your what you already have so again it's like a program that is already within you it's already a city that's lit and it has all of your it's it's how how source made you okay how he programmed you and now you have uh you get the activation right and they activate it they initialize the um you know the download is there or they or they make the download to initialize the program to start running so a lot of times you can see this as like flipping the switch you know and it's like okay we're are you, are you ready to download the program yes and so that's again like activating your program that is already within you you know um now of course there's other downloads like of information uh you know of, of messages and things like that and downloads of how to activate your light body how to activate yourself to your own innate abilities you know um if you you know your healing abilities everyone everyone has these abilities everyone has these abilities but in the way in which you are going to activate to your um to to your your full psychic abilities um to your your full mental and emotional uh capabilities is going to be dependent on your own set of, of baggage Okay, so um, depending on what your traumas were and depending on, you know, the programs that you currently have, it may be a little bit different for how you are going to activate to your own abilities that are already existing inside of you. All right. So with that, um, and that's kind of like where I come in with being able to like channel and stuff and uh, tap in to see what is going to really uh, clear a blockage for you or activate something for you based on on everything that you are currently carrying okay that is not in alignment with you and um so certain things as you clear the veils your psychic abilities will grow right because your um your third eye is uh the doorway into your psychic abilities okay but then you have doorways into other abilities as well there's emotional um abilities there's uh, mental abilities that you have there's physical abilities that you have like agility and strength you know there's all these it's like superhuman supernatural abilities that you have and you tap into them by working on your energetic system your chakra system all right and again everything is um it depends on how you're doing the work so if you're doing massive work for like say a week and like i went to this retreat and it was we had fun and then we did massive work we had fun then we did massive work right so if you're doing something like that then you're going to be able to activate a lot at one time because you're you're being consistent okay so with that retreat i had a huge emotional release that um basically was blocking my ability so um when i was younger i was um raped sexually abused physically abused and um by a few different men in my family so that particular retreat it helped me to remove um one to help me go through that door I had I, I got help I had support to go to that door so where I wasn't scared to go there and take my power back because that's what happens these traumas they kind of take your power they 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 take your confidence they take your skills they they take your creativity they take that because now you're afraid to use that um, you know those abilities in this and you close yourself off to it so when you go in you heal something emotionally you take you open that door and you take your power back but you also accept your power as well because your heart is like super open and you're accepting of who you are so and we did that through um, somatic healing and um, and um, breath work and, and things like this and um, at that point and that was 2018 of November uh, I had my first like reoccurrence of someone's uh, passed on child come to me during that retreat and I've I've, I've always felt because I'm very empathic so I always felt energy and but I didn't I didn't that was the first time I was like okay this is a spirit you know like thing it just kind of like came everything came back to me and I was able to get confirmation because it was so 
I get these things where I just have to share like I'm, I'm meant to and I need it to um, let my soul sister know what her, uh, her, her child had said and it was something because she needed it to, to complete a part of healing that she needed to, to release, right? And, um, and I got the confirmation then that I was a medium, a psychic medium, psychic empath medium, whatever, you know, and, um, at that point it was such a beautiful experience because she totally accepted, um, everything that I had, that I had said to her and it was completely on point. And I didn't, at that time, I didn't realize that that was like channeling you know after that happened because like a lot of my guides and stuff like that they just talked to me normal and I never I didn't think I didn't know there was like a name for it you know so this is my lower self merging with my higher self and so as um I started to want to know I, I my ego wanted to put a label to it wanted to put a name to it so then I went and I did research and I was like oh that's channeling so I realized that I've been I've been channeling my whole life right and um, the moment I accepted myself and my ability my uh, the information came through very clear it came through um, uh, very accurate and precise because there was no doubt in it there was no resistance to it it was just uh, my heart was open and I was open to receive and that's when um, the end of December 2018 we came back and that's when Yeshua Jesus Christ came to me and let me know that he was my teacher and um, I was like oh okay it just came and just I just heard it I was like okay and then that's when I started working with Archangel Michael um, in December it was right, uh, I forget, it was like a very important, it was Ramadan or something, it was a very important thing or Kwanzaa, I can't remember exactly, but it was an important holiday thing, and I was to do 30 minutes of breath work for 30 days, and I was like, okay, you know, and um, I didn't, it was, it was, looking back on it, I don't know how I did it, um, but I did, and I got the strength to do it. I got the willpower to do it, the perseverance to do it. Um, it all, sorry, that noise in the background is my dog. And um, it was like, I don't know, it was so easy actually. And breath work, if you're not familiar with breath work, um, you know, uh, Tim Wolf and this kind of, there's different methods out there, but it's, it's, it's emotional release. It's a, another emotional release technique. So, um, a lot of my, my abilities like the clairvoyance and, um, other things, clairsentience, other things really expanded and popped open after I did that month of, of breath work and um every single day and it was just like i was my goal was with me because it's clearing the third eye too okay all of that is just clearing your chakras and um bringing you into harmonic balance and after that 2019 of january i started i said i was going to post uh every day once a day to instagram and i was going to share something from my abilities like uh, whatever you know god wanted to share through me i was going to share it because i was still on a journey of um losing weight i still had more weight to to lose and um because with my my con the condition i had this degenerative disease the more weight i had on me the more likelihood i would have to have more uh, surgery and so i had already had three spinal fusions and that was part of the reason why I had went through everything I had gone through and I had vowed to myself I'm perfect health so part of perfect health another way of detoxifying is you expressing yourself you um, using creativity as a meditation so as I would make graphic designs I would channel poems I started channeling um, inspirational quotes I started channeling what I was going through like it was like I was my coach and I would channel what I would say to myself but really this is like what Michael is saying to me what my guides are saying to me and I would share it and then I started to um so I guess that's when I kind of 
kind of I feel like it kind of came into full devotion in May of 2017 because I was devote I devoted to myself. I didn't realize that that was a uh, spiritual thing until later on, and um, then all of 2019, every day was about strengthening my connection. It was about hearing clearly. It was about seeing clearly. It was about feeling good. All of my affirmations in 2019, um, the majority of them was, I love myself. I am confident. I am fearless. I am unstoppable. And that was the name of my uh, Instagram at that time was fearless and unstoppable. And it was all about that. It was like having fearless courage because I also said, I'm going to increase my income so that I could get a spiritual coach. All right, that's when I decided, like, I was devoting myself to know who I was, to tap into, to clear my past, to not let it hold me back in any way, shape, or form, and to become my fullest potential. So during that year, um, my, like, I guess, I don't know what you say that, um, how do you say that, but, like, my theme was, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy for real. I'm happy for real. I'm happy for real. I'm happy for real. I'm not going to fake the smile. And if I feel like I have to fake the smile, why? What's going on with me? What am I not addressing? You know, and then working with my guides to do that. And um, I practice... I practiced my, uh, I practiced everything. That's when I started to get into tarot. So I was practicing um, channeling from crystals. I was practicing channeling from the cards. I would write down what the cards said to me. I was practicing um, channeling the future. So I would, you know, asking the right question. Uh, what is a sign that I'm going to see tomorrow? And maybe a butterfly would pop up. And sure enough, I would see a butterfly. And then it got it got deeper to like, okay, well, what, what do I need to know? What's going to, what do I need to be prepared for? And then what started happening is that spirit would prepare me like days, weeks ahead of time for circumstances, situations. And I would be put in these situations to like help people or to share something or whatever it was. And I was fully prepared. He spirit would bring to me the book I needed to read, the video I needed to watch, um, the exercise I needed to do. I started working with Thoth and, um, that's when like and I didn't even realize this like I didn't I still didn't realize I was like a channel this is so funny right <laughs> I still wasn't like I'm a channel I didn't I didn't like I was like I'm a psychic medium I but I didn't realize that that's like a channel right we, we're all channels we're all vessels right but um I had went to it was it was yeah well, yeah it was it's 2019 it was the summer it was like July it was my daughter's national competition and um by that time I had I'd lost the 70 I lost 70 pounds so altogether I lost 100 pounds right and I cured my uh chronic depression uh chronic anxiety and um chronic pain during all of this time and uh and so I was like, nope, it's, it's not me anymore. I detached from that person. I'm perfect hell. And I did this one workout, and I was just, like, pumped, like, doing a workout. Duh, 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 duh. And I was getting attunements, and I didn't know there were attunements, but there were attunements of meditations, and I would practice this mainly in the shower, <laughs> in the tub I would get, because that's where I get really relaxed and everything. And um, there was one that Thoth had bought through, and Thoth was like, let's do a live on Instagram and let's go through the meditation and was basically a um what was it it was it was clearing I was working with the violet flame and then clearing and then basically activating like clearing your whole entire white body clearing everything and activating you um I do a lot of touch and feels and and things like this and it's how you wipe energy off you know and um how you open yourself up because your voice is the number one thing to to heal you and the second number one thing to heal you is your own touch so by you touching your hands you holding uh, you know your shoulder and sending love to it like you are your ultimate healer and uh so we did the meditation and i i was live and I woke up, so, okay, so that was my first experience, um, in 2019 of, uh, doing trench channeling that I hadn't, 
didn't even realize that that's what it was. But I, when I woke up and it was like 26 minutes later or whatever it was, I realized that I was cha- I channeled because I was talking everyone through the meditation at that time. And so I had to rewatch it back, and then that's when I realized that that was a, another another gift um, that I had unlocked. Okay, so again, understanding that, right? Like you unlock things. It doesn't, you, you're not going to, it's already there. And that's the biggest thing I think that I had to, um, so that's how I started channeling, that I had to understand that it's, there's, it's already there. It's already there. Your okay, so your ancestors and um, your guides and things like that. What will happen is they might give you more energy. Okay, so a supernatural energy, and what that does is it helps you to clear your light body. And when you clear your light body, you're able to hold more light. And so your guides and your ancestors they'll send you more light. And when you're able to hold more light, you're at a very high frequency. And when you're at the high frequency all of your stuff it just opens up because that's who you are okay and um yeah that's who you are so you open you 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 like open and and they give you more more power more love and so a lot of times people are like oh my ancestors blessed me and now i can um now i'm psychic medium well it kind of doesn't doesn't work like that they bless you with all this love and with this light and um and with their love and light because there's a lot of things that like they weren't able to do when they were here so they're like transferring um light to you light energy to you and it's helping you to again activate your full blueprint okay your full blueprint and the number one key to activating your full blueprint is acceptance okay acceptance of the truth in all ways and um, how you come into acceptance and truth is through self-devotion and self-devotion is self-care and self-love okay it's like what do you need to do to love yourself more what do you need to do to nurture yourself what do you need to do to um feel joy feel happy and this is uh you working through the shadow work because this is when you realize and you devote that i'm not going to seek that in a bottle i'm not going to seek that in a pill i'm not going to seek that in sex i'm not going to seek that you know in my partner i'm not going to seek it outside of me i'm not going to seek it in a reader this is when you fully devote to you you and you say I am my guide I am my guru you know and um, all of that all of that empowerment that you claim you know is your birthright and then you're able to explore and strengthen your connection to spirit and as you explore and strengthen your connection to spirit your gifts will get stronger so um, I'm trying to think what's an example okay so um, as a as a psychic empath i'm able to feel people that are really close to me and when they're going through something i can feel them uh right and so i could feel it but then once i started doing the self self work okay the devotional work um really making myself a priority you know every single day when i start to do that then not only would i feel them you know but i might actually like feel it like I might cry I've I've got knocked down to my knees before crying because something was going on and I felt it was like an energy transfer this is also before I knew how to protect my chakras so like so but it grew the the intensity grew um uh, Archangel Gabriel he'll send me signs you know um all throughout the day like the other day I got I kept saying 17 17 17 17 17 and I'm like what is going on with 17 and thinking oh Aquarius but they're but I was like no because we already said we were going to be doing some other stuff and sure enough it was one of my family members and she's like I need to borrow $17 and I was like okay you know so it things like that it'll get stronger you'll be more connected because you're more since you're accepting yourself you're accepting everyone so you're more connected to everything you know even like um uh animals lost animals come to me all the time (laughs) 
and then, like tap in to help them like figure out what's going on you know and um but also it's for me to tap into myself as well it's like once i started saying that i accept all of me all of me came to me you know and circumstances situations opportunities come to me to strengthen my connection to myself and that just strengthens all of um everything that has been tapped in and turned on for for me yes and um yeah so i hope that this helps uh you guys and so you just know a little bit more about me and then also a little bit more about you because everything that you see in me is within you you know everything that you see me do you can also do and it's just how is your soul calling you to express yourself during this lifetime how is your soul calling you your heart your inner child to um to play to express to share communicate in this lifetime and as long as you follow that then everything that you truly want is going to come to you all right it's going to happen for you and um yeah and in some things spirit's coming in now he wants me to remind you that sometimes the reason why some things seem to come really fast and then some things seem to build is because um he knows best okay yeah source knows best source knows how much you can handle at one time because remember that even though you are all divine you're also all human okay Mm -hmm. And so that's where the compassion and the gentleness comes in and understanding that although you may feel very supernatural, um, sometimes you may even feel like a robot, you know, that kind of a thing, uh, you're not. You you still have, have to create connections. You still have to feel. You still have to express. Um, you, you, you still have to feel significant and feel like you matter. You know, there's these... these things of the human uh, journey that you still have to fully embrace okay and um that's a part of the reason why you're here too you know is to learn how to do both at the same time and then uh for a lot of you that resonate with my videos is for you to go and to share your experience but also to teach it to others okay um or to uh be a bridge for someone on uh maybe it's making a product of some kind or selling a service where that is a bridge to help someone integrate fully with their higher self okay and um integrate fully with their higher self and integrate fully with mother earth with father sky grandfather sun and grandmother moon and source energy okay and then all of the earth and then when you do that you integrate with your galactic family as well so um all of that there's levels to it yes yes and yes and if you just keep uh following your heart you know, you'll, everything will grow and strengthen, you know, yes, yes, okay, so I'm gonna end that, this is like longer, uh, I am gonna mention that too, I'll probably do another thing, um, I believe we're gonna do the art video, I'll do a live on, uh, August 8th, right on Lionsgate it's like so fun and we will do the I believe it's the thousand petal flower that we'll do together so I'll have my cards out and we'll do we'll do some affirmation work we'll do number work but basically we're going to use our creativity as a meditation so that's basically what that live will be and I believe it's going to be uh, 12 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time what I'll do is I'll put uh, a live thing up so that got you way you guys know and if you can come to the live and you know share in the energy that's completely fine um, if you know if you can be there in the live but if you can't watching it afterwards you're still going to get the benefit of the group the you know the community activity and whatever comes through for everyone and of course you know uh, i'll make sure that all the protections are in place so that way um because this is the other thing like as much as it's like activating energy we also want to make sure that no one is um transferring you know karma or any that kind of stuff to each other so a, a lot of that those kind of videos you guys will also learn those kind of protection techniques as well so that way when you're doing your own group activities you can uh you know how to protect the group okay yes yes and yes yes okay all right so bye y'all thank you